was uh, wanting to bring you along today, this morning. I wanted to take out all my herbs that I put in here last year. Um, I was going to move them down below into another pot, but i really been itching to grow some lettuce and greens right now, and we don't have our garden put in this year, our raised beds made yet. So I have this raised bed, and I thought, well, I'll just move out the herbs and plant some lettuce. So I thought that would, and I have some miniature kale I like to put in here also. So I'd like to bring you along and show you how it turns out. Started, I wanted to say that Tracy bought me these great tools at the off-grid with Doug and Stacy um, homesteading life conference and they're made by a, a man that has a company that's called Homestead Iron and he was one of the vendors at their conference and he was he was a booth next to me and I kept eyeing these up and eyeing them up and uh, before we left, we got a couple. So they are wonderful. I use them for, he sharpens their edges. He sharpens the edges of them so they're really, really sharp. So I've been using them to chop out um, weeds and uh, clean out the edge around my uh, steps and around cleaning out around my uh, herbs that I have already planted. So I just wanted to share that these are uh, Homestead Iron. He has a, his own um, web page, so please go look them up. I, I recommend them highly. These things are made. He hand forges them, and they're made. They'll last me. I'll be able to hand them down to my grandchildren. So they're really, really tough and rugged. Just wanted to say that before I got started. oregano and what happened is some of these branches have laid down in the dirt and rooted and then it comes on over and makes its own little plant so now I don't just have one oregano now I have another one and I have a feeling there might be another place I can divide it I think I will divide it, right? Here.
earlier to actually plant the seeds, but I did get the bed all worked in and cleared out of all the extra roots, well, most of the extra roots. And so now I want to plant um, black seeded Simpson lettuce seeds, and I'm, I'm going to make a nice row of them. Have some lettuce this have some lettuce this year or some salads. I'm gonna make three rows. They don't need to go deep. These seeds are from uh, Baker's Creek. I've grown this lettuce lots of times. It's one of my favorites. It's a leaf lettuce that you can just keep picking the leaves off of it and it just keeps growing back. Just gonna sprinkle it in here, dropping it every so far, so many inches. It's probably gonna come in pretty thick, but I'll just thin it and eat the thinnings. Lettuce seed stores really well, so what you don't use, you just put back in with your stash and put it back in the freezer. And use it for the next season. There we go. And just gently cover. down. Now it's planted. Just have to wait and see how well they come up. Hello. I just uh, wanted to come back real quickly and add this to the video about how they, how the seedlings grew. It, I planted those seeds April 18th and today is the 15th so just shy of a month later the packet said well, they're not quite as big as they at full grown yet but the package said they'd be ready in 50 days so um, they said it would take longer than a month but I, I think that these are ready for a small bowl right now that can be harvested it's a leaf lettuce it's a black seed it's symptom sy black seeded Simpson and uh, so you just pick it as you need it and so I think it's ready to be harvested now for at least a small bowl of salad so I just wanted to show you the results of my planting the seeds and I know I always enjoy videos like that where you get to see the progress and see how it turns out in the end thank you for watching and I hope that if you enjoyed the video that you like and subscribe and click the little bell and I hope you have a blessed day.